This is my wife, and this is my son. And today, you're going to see a glimpse of what a clinic day in Seattle looks like for us. If you're lucky, you might see Sully's first clap, hear me sing and dance, and hear Taylor's baby talk. Let's get this tubi tubi in your belly, belly, belly. Oh, and for the first time, the doctors were very excited about Sully's labs. Grab the size small gloves. The size small? Really? You have huge hands. Yeah. Let's see. The touch? Oh, yeah. They're clean. Sullivan! What are you doing? What are you doing? Dude, stop kicking the table. Freedom! Woo! What are your morning thoughts on your blood pressure, Sullivan? He's like, well, I'm doing a pretty good job holding still, but in about three seconds, I'm gonna start flailing like a banshee. No, 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 no. So he peaked four times last night. He did two projectile vomits, like back to back, and one of the first one was all over <laughs> her. Literally all over. Me. I was in the other side of the house, and she was screaming. <laughs> running in here and was like, what's wrong? What's happening? <laughs> and I was like, keep you all over me. I think you thought something more serious happened. But... Yeah, when you got a kid like Sully, you never know what the screaming is going to be. We got Sully this new blanket and it has his name and we got this so that he starts to love it so that when he has to get his kidney transplant, he has something that's like familiar and cozy with him. He's also got his first zit. Puberty's <laughs> tough, kid. Right here. Also, his pajamas still <laughs> Because of the puke. I mean, they kind of, kind of go. They're both blue and striped. That makes them clash very hard. <laughs> Ten sets of horizontal stripes, all different colors. Uh. Hey, baby. Oh. <laughs> you want to dance? The first clap caught on camera. Thank you! Kiss, kiss. Aww. You're the sweetest. Did you see his face after that one? <laughs> In this shot, it almost looks like we have the same bald spot. Yours is a lot easier to find. Right there. It's a nice, beautiful, rainy day here in the Pacific Northwest. Princess. That was sweet. But am I running in the grocery store or are you? I can. Oh heck yeah. Okay. I think I got everything. I cleaned the whole <laughs> house in the last 15 minutes. I started laundry. I did the dishes. I cleaned Sully's room. I made our bed. I cleaned up our living room. I cleaned up downstairs. Grabbed all the laundry from down there. I was just hanging out with Sully. And I was wondering what you were doing. Blinky. Oh nice. <laughs> Nice. Um, yep. Pants, dressing change supplies, gifts, diaper bag. Our friend is in, well, I guess she's not in the NICU, but she was in the NICU with her baby. And so we wanted to get her something and just say hi since we're regulars. <laughs> <laughs> so I got her a water bottle because I feel like you always need that in the hospital because they give you these little gray cups. They're ghetto. But they kind of make the water taste weird. And then she has dogs. And this is my favorite book for Sully, so I got her one too. Yeah, and then we're gonna get her some Takis. And a gift bag and a card. Do we have a pen? Should I go grab a pen? I'll get it. Okay. Then yeah, that's all we need. We're going. You have reached the pre-anesthesia testing coordination line. Oh my god. <laughs> what did you do? I got Takis. Good, I asked for that. My favorite gummies. Always good. Airhead Extreme. Okay. Ferrero Rochers. Uh, you got a giant. <laughs> Some tissue paper. Oh, You're above and beyond. I remember that. And then I got this little bag. It's cute. And it almost matches this. I'm thoroughly impressed with you right now. 
But look at you. Hi, five. Okay. That voice of an angel. What should I say? Something good. And the rocket's red glare through the night. See, you're raw. No, I'm not. He's really good, though. So, you all should tell him that in the comments. Do you what? have a heat blasting? Yeah, it's like seven degrees outside. Billy said he's hyper blasting us for who knows Well, because the walk from here to inside is going to be cold. We're also an hour early. But we're going to meet with our buddy. Yeah, but friend. we initially planned to do it afterwards, so we're still just never. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. we're going to clinics, and we meet with his dialysis doctor, his dietitian, his social worker, his primary nurse, and then we just like kind of talk, honestly. They give us the updates on all the labs. Most of them were good this time, so I don't think there'll be anything crazy. He's gonna talk more about his puking. He's got his endoscopy coming up in... A week. A week. That's terrifying, but we are at the mercy of God. I just mean like, a lot of people are like, don't trust this, don't trust that. We have no choice. Yeah, we have to get the shots. We, just, we have, we to, have to trust the these doctors. Things. And so far they've done a great job. And he's alive, so. And I'm Praise God. Sure he pooped. He pooped, he pooped, he pooped. All of our YouTube videos talk about our child pooping and I think it's kind of weird. I think that's our signature. We decided to bring Sully in his new bike that his Aunt Maddie and Uncle Derek got him. He loves this thing so much. We figured it would help him feel comfortable at clinics today. Our first stop was the family bathroom to change his poopy diaper, of course. We also found out that Sully has developed a fear of elevators. Besides that, it's pretty amazing how this kid can always find a reason to smile. Even after surgeries, pokes, constant blood pressures, suppositories, antibiotics, all with only 6% kidney function. He always seems to have a good time. Oh, and he absolutely loves the fish tank. All right, we're officially leaving. That went very well. That was probably the smoothest appointment we've had to date. They were excited that his labs looked so good. Just gonna wait and see for the endoscopy next week. The biggest thing, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest thing is basically we might have to stay the night now, um, the night before and do his last dialysis run in the hospital. This is falling. We're gonna do this later. I gotta get to the grocery store. Taylor needs to do some laundry, right? Something. I do, but you're gonna help me fold it later. <coughs> Anyways, I'm going to the grocery store. See ya. You are a clown. Be clean with the trash can. So here's a fun fact that people don't think about with dialysis. We always have to close his vent when we hook him up. And a lot of the times we forget to open it back up. So I just realized it's been closed all day today. So I'm gonna, ah, it's open. You want some dinner? Thank you. My knight in shining armor. Thank you. Yes. See you soon. I got the goods. Sully, look, we got your food. Tubing. No rolling. Let's get this tubey tubey in your belly, belly, belly. All right, we did it. Your meds and your food. Apple, apple, apple. Yummy, yummy in your tummy. Yummy, yummy in your tummy. Now that Sully is eating, I gotta feed our dog too. Good old Costco. I think she wants to eat. She's waiting patiently. Eh. All right, next up on my agenda, I gotta bring a very exciting package inside. <laughs> Look at that! We ordered Sully a ruggable. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's like a washable rug, and we have one um, in my mom's house down here, downstairs. So we have one like right over here, but my parents are redoing their carpets, and we live with them right now. And I was a little bit nervous that they would redo the carpets in Sully's room and then he'd throw up everywhere. So we got him a ruggable because you can throw them in the wash. And like this one back here, he's literally pooped on it and it's come out just fine. So I feel pretty confident that the puking will be okay too. We'll see, but I can't open it yet because I feel like Billy would want to be in on this one. They had like nasty old heat lamp chicken. Ugh. And I don't trust Fred Meyer. Oh look who it is. You're gonna be disappointed in me. Why am I gonna be disappointed in you? Because I 
I got a lot of junk. So I got some bread. Buttermilk bread? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you like gushers, don't you? I do. That's so bad for me. Oh. oh, I love those. I don't even eat hot Cheetos. I do. Oh. <laughs> Send your husband to the store, I tell you. This is what you get. How do you feel? I feel like a king. Yeah, figures. Um, guess what? What? Your kid pooped. Finally. We, I haven't changed it though. For you. No, no, no. It's no, no, for no. you. Not a chance. Oh, he pooted. Look at that. Oh man, this room. Workout room turned dialysis storage. There's so much poop. Don't touch. Ready? Let's do it. Let's do the blood pressure. We are the champions. You should probably film some of what I'm doing. Oh. <laughs> I forgot the drain bag. What does that mean? That means you have to go get it for oh me. My. I can't touch anything. Today is officially day 100 of dialysis. And honestly, feels it, like it. it definitely feels like it. You know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. Just kidding, I'm having fun. I'm not having fun doing dialysis, I'm having fun hanging out with you guys. At least having fun. Taylor just squeaked. I for sure just choked on my own spit. Hi, buddy. Was that a good shower? <laughs> yeah. You loved it. I'm gonna put the laundry away for Taylor because she deserves it. And she's putting him to sleep. But I know she's been stressing about it, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna step up and be a man. dreams come true. Thanks for joining us on our day in the life with young Sully. He's doing well. You keep kicking it. I don't like how you're smacking your mouth like that. What did you eat? Oatmeal bite. Ugh. I can like hear like a like a popping sound. I don't know why you're filming me while I'm eating. All right. Stop chewing. You're, there's no food in your mouth. That is. You don't need to chew it. It's small. Uh-uh. Okay, let's, let's redo this. <laughs>